good day. We will be discussing using your new Conqueror UV17X. As always, we will start by stabilizing and leveling your caravan. To do that, we will be using the four lifting legs located on each corner of your caravan. So it's as easy as pulling the red lever, swinging it down. And firstly, you just want the leg just to touch. Do that on all four corners. Now that you've finished leveling your caravan, you can open and set up your side bed. Doing that is very straightforward. Using our patented paneling system, you unlatch the door. Got two panels for the side. And the last little bit is your base. And the outside. So Don't forget to latch the thin stud at the bottom. Next, we'll set up your install on. Pretty straightforward. Your awning bag has got twin zips. Next, you'll loosen the three tension straps to release your canvas. And you always want to start with the rear first. As the first, you want to anchor your awning, but not tension it as deep. Next, you want to anchor the front part, but once again, don't tension it as yet. You want to anchor it as lateral as possible. So always try to go to your X bracket or even the latch on the side. Next step, you want to lift up your lifting arms to create a pitch on your awning roof. Now you want to tension your awning starting at the back first. Getting this arm as lateral as possible. Next, tension the awning in the front. Do this by pulling on your webbing, webbing strap and getting this arm as close to 90 degrees as possible. Next, you want to put up your loose pole for your triangles to square up the awning. Always try to get this at a slight angle to make sure that the water flow is good on the awning. Same at the back. The last little bit is purely just for neatness. You want to get the bag out of the way. So you'll see there's Velcro inside the awning bag. To get it up and out of your way. And the little awning brackets will keep the bag out of your doorway. Next you want to pull out your pull-out kitchen. This is so easy, my five-year-old daughter can do this.
everything you need all in one place. There's a gas stove, fridge. Next, you want to put on the grits for your gas stove. Got your crockery. So on the interior, the first thing you want to do is lift up your roof for head roof. So you'll be starting by loosening the tension bolt. Next, you want to lift the roof by giving it a slight push and pushing on the, the, the lever. And up she goes. Next, you want to use the shorter version of the handbot to keep it in place. The rear mechanism for the, for the roof is inside your shower. So once again, a little push and push on the lever. Put it in place. Shorter version of the hand bolt. Working with your UEV 17X power pack is pretty straightforward. The least technical person can work this system. So firstly, remember to plug in your 220 volt extension if you have 220 volt available. Switch on your earth leakage breaker. Second, your battery isolator, which will switch on your power pack. Last bit, switch on your outlets. Battery charger and aircon if installed. Now the, the power pack is indicating to you that it is charging the battery. The last, the on your switch panel, you can individually control your fridge, outlets and media external 12 volt outlets main lights and your water pump remember to only switch on your water pump if you you do have water available in your tank lastly on the uv range you have a dimmer switch installed on your main li interior lights which can be obviously switched off and on and you can decide how bright you want them the last little bit is, is working with your geyser. The UV17X comes standard with a Hansen dual geyser, which means it runs from gas or 220 volt. Using that is pretty straightforward. On the switch panel, you decide whether you're using it on electric or gas. If we decide we use it on gas, we switch it on. You'll see the indicator light is indicating that the geyser is igniting at this stage. If the gas is connected and it does ignite, this indicator light will stop blinking and will just be on, indicating that it is heating the water view at this stage. The last little bit, you want to protect your Insta on against down forces and up forces. So for the down forces, your drop down poles are permanently attached on an Aussie clamp. So just Lock it in place and for the up forces, proper guide rope with a carabiner clip. Clip it in place and there you go. Now your setup is complete. Enjoy your new UEV 17X. Enjoy some of our nice interior close-ups.